North Carolina's coming. I don't know how to put it any more plainly than that. I feel great about the future of North Carolina football. Some of you have noticed that I've been a little more animated, a little more bullish when I'm talking about North Carolina. And I had like five or six of you ask me about it in my uh, Instagram uh, DMs earlier this week, at Late Kick Josh, by the way. And so I wanted to address this tonight because I love what they're doing. And I think North Carolina is going to be a contender in the ACC. Let me be very specific here. I think North Carolina football, in very short order, is going to be an ACC championship contender, even with Clemson in the house. And I think they're going to be a national championship contender. I think they're going to be in the playoff conversation. And here's the reason or reasons I say that. Unlike everyone else in the ACC for a long time, this squad here, and this staff especially, has never operated in Clemson's shadow. Even though they're not the equal of Clemson at the moment, haven't been, they have never operated in their shadow. Need I remind you, I remember being in the Auburn press box watching them play Clemson year one under Mac Brown. I don't know how many touchdowns they were an underdog by, but there they are, down inside the red zone, going for a two-point conversion to upset mighty Clemson. They missed it that day. But when they walked off the field, did you notice? When they carried themselves afterwards, did you notice? In fact, the way they carried themselves the day they walked in that building, did you notice? They never really flinched. When you mentioned Clemson, when they had to play Clemson, they never flinched. They never have. They're not as good as them yet, they, nor, they, nor should they be. But they're building in the right direction. But they, unlike the rest of this conference, scared of its own shadow for an extended period of time, North Carolina's never flinched when you mention the Clemson Tigers. And that's a good thing. Because that mental side of it's over half the battle when it comes to eventually being able to dethrone the top dog, or tiger in this case, in your conference. They've made excellent hires. It starts with head coach. Some people question Mac Brown. Who cares? Because a lot of what you guys call the grand slam hires flame out entirely. So I don't really care what people think the day of the press conference. I want to see subsequently what guys are doing. Well, all Mac Brown's done is he got guys like Jay Bateman as his DC. He got guys like Phil Longo as his offensive coordinator. He put together a dynamite staff of recruiters. And when I say recruiters, I mean in all caps. They take it very seriously there. They just virtually locked down one of the most talent-rich states in the Southeast in North Carolina. They kept a lot of their in-state talent home. Evidence is that you look at them now, you look at guys like Javari Ritzy, just to pick a name out of a hat. That guy looks like an SEC defensive lineman. He's in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and it wasn't for a lack of options either, by the way. They're beating some of the big boys for this talent. And you look at him, and all of a sudden, oh, I knew they could play offense. Oh, I knew they had wide receivers out the wazoo. Look at these defensive linemen. My goodness. This team could almost pass for, I don't know, a contender. Yeah, they sure could. And not only do they have front liners, they got some depth there now. Defense should make a quantum leap at North Carolina this fall. But the most important part of this whole recruiting puzzle is very early on. They got quarterback figured out now and in the future. Sam Howell, once upon a time, committed to Florida State. Well, he is their starting quarterback now. He's going to be a Heisman Trophy contender this year. But they also got it figured out in the future. Drake May, one time Alabama commit. Maybe you've heard of him. Well, he's now committed and signed and on campus with North Carolina. And so now when you get those quarterback dominoes figured out, do you remember another program that did that once upon a time? They were good, and then they were pretty good. And then they got a guy named Deshaun Watson who came after Taj Boyd. They got him on campus, and they won a national championship, played for two of them. And then a kid named Trevor Lawrence saw that happen, and he committed. He won himself a national championship. And then a kid named DJ Uyangalale was watching, and he committed. The way that modern-day recruiting works is you get the first quarterback, and then it starts the domino effect. And it's already begun at North Carolina. A little bold prediction here. You're not going to watch North Carolina over the next decade to where they don't have a plus to elite caliber quarterback which means the wide receiver talent will take care of itself because they want to play with the good quarterbacks, which means the running backs and the offensive linemen, ditto. They all fit the same description. And then they get defense figured out to the degree that you need to get it figured out. They are headed very quickly in the right direction. But here's the secret at North Carolina that not a lot of people are talking about right now. It's a destination that people always wanted to become a destination. A lot of people have wanted a reason to go play at North Carolina. They didn't have it for a long time. They have it now. And it's not just a destination for recruits, as you just saw in this last signing class, and you will continue to see. It's a destination for coaches. North Carolina is a great place to coach. When you can go there and you have the prospect of winning and you can have the right profile and you can make the right money, 
It's a wonderful place to live. A lot of coaches have looked for decades for any excuse to go to North Carolina. It's just for a long time the job didn't give them an excuse to go there. So they had to go somewhere else where they could fill all their needs. You can fill all your needs, whether you're a player or you're a coach. You can fill every single one of them. You can check all those boxes at North Carolina right now. North Carolina football is coming. They are going to be a contender. You guys may think it's going to take some getting used to, and it will, but that's the team. You want to see why all this system is built against us stuff is BS? It's because North Carolina doesn't care. When's the last time you heard these people say, oh, we can't compete against Clemson. Oh, we could never be what they, they just wad it up. They throw it in the garbage and they say, yeah, we can. If we make the right hires just like they did and we recruit like they do and we develop and we care and we're as passionate as they are, we're going to get the same results and we trust it. It's a process. That old boring word, process. Well, they bought into it at Clemson and uh, they bought into it at North Carolina too. And that's why I'm buying the future of Tar Heel football. So give me all that stock.